Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. Today we will learn the differences between imperative and declarative programming in Python. So let's get started. Let's first go over the differences between imperative and declarative programming. Imperative programming has a specific set of instructions. You tell the program to do something in a specific way, and that way it describes the specific control flow. On the other hand, in declarative programming, you just want the task to be completed, so you just describe the logic. And on top of that, declarative programming is shorter and usually is only a couple lines of code versus imperative programming has many lines of code and because of that imperative programming can get very messy with a lot of unneeded variables so when you can it's best to use declarative programming so let's dive into some examples so i want to calculate the total in a list and when you first start programming you might be familiar with creating a variable called total and set this equal to zero. Then I'll just do for item in the list of numbers total plus equals item. So it will add each item to the total by going through everything and then finally I can print the total. And this works however it's very slow because it's imperative programming. Instead of doing this, we can do it in a quicker way using declarative programming. So I'm gonna create the same variable total, but set this equal to the sum of each item for that item in a list of numbers. And this is the same thing, but is in one line and is much faster. And we still get 98. But for this example, we can do it with just sum. So we'll do some list of numbers. But what this is actually doing is above sum of item for item and list of numbers. So we still get 98. Now let's do another example. What if we wanted to multiply each item in a list by 2? Well, we could do that both with imperative programming and declarative programming. So let's first do it with imperative program. So for this, I'm going to have to create a variable called multiplied list and set this equal to an empty list. And then for item in original list, we're going to append to the multiplied list. So multiply list dot append. And we're just appending item, which is the number times two. And now when we print the multiplied list it should work however once again this is slow and it takes up a lot of lines of code we can do this using declarative programming i'm going to create a variable called multiplied list and then we want to add to the list each item multiplied by two so item times two for every item in the original list. So what originally took three lines of code now takes one line of code with declarative programming and we get the same result. And when you have large programs this is when it's very helpful and reduces unnecessary variables and it makes the program quicker to run. And that's the main difference between imperative and declarative programming. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with this video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.